Hello everybody and welcome into the Dog Zone. Dogs to follow where we try and tip you into a winner the week ahead in Greyhound Racing. Of course, four of us tipping on the show now. Let's take a back, uh, look back, sorry, at last week and how we fared. I went one from four, Flirty, all getting home at around 370. Pip two from five, well done to her. Trojans Magic at a really nice price there of $7. And Blakey Stothart getting on the board, one from three. Big time Charlotte getting home at $1.95. And the man who's missing from the results, Mr. Rosanowski. Rosso, disappointing there, son. You might have had a week off, but you could have just flipped through something for the viewers. Well, I thought I'd sit back, relax, and maybe follow up and try and earn enough for an ice cream for the children. And I had to rely on Blake there. I backed up big time Charlotte, so thanks for that, Blake. Uh, our Hemi on Friday night, an each way play in race three, drawn closer to the rail for me. Tap out Bill has box one, I think can repeat his Monday win at Manawa two. Big time Rod draws up box one, race 10, we'll take the shorts there. And big time Kobe, this is Monday at Manawa two on Cup Day. Uh, he's drawn in close too, which is critical to him. And I worked on Monday with Philippa, and Philippa threw out very calmly a $14 shot in Little Scamp as well, Philippa. And with that $7 shot on the show as well, here we go, let's do it again. Yeah, not sure these ones will be paying quite that much, but enjoy the perks. I think Follow Your Money In comes up with a good draw at Cambridge, as does the, the five, the Billy Bright, a slightly easier field for him. Then off to Manukau on Sunday with the three Tiamo, I think, is in a nice field and a good draw. And a race number 12, the one Cess the more well drawn down on the rail. Here's a look at where Blakey's heading for the next week. Colby Ness at Addington, Thursday night downgraded and dangerous off the red rug. Ego Maniacal looking to go back to back. He's drawn beautifully in the red as well. And on Sunday at Monaco, due to burn, is about to ignite in race number 10. Here's where I'm heading. Well drawn Colby Ness as well, so she's got a lot of weight to carry there. Drawn up beautifully in the one with a couple of wide runners to her outside. Corbeer, he comes up with the one. He's knocking on the door. He's due a winning turn, there's no doubt about that. And a mighty muscle up to the 645 metre journey, which judging off his run homes will suit him down to the ground. That's how we see things the week ahead in Greyhound Racing. We'll be back next week with more dogs to follow, but until then, happy punting.